Oh my gosh. What? You seriously have just started the game like that to me? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There's a whole other floor. There's another floor. I am so excited. <laughs> so excited right now. Hey, my little Pichurinos, and welcome back to another episode of our Disney Princess Challenge. And we are on another season because we are now on Generation 4, I think think. Generation 4, which is Aurora, who is, of course, the princess from Sleeping Beauty. So, why don't we go ahead and recap ourselves on the rules for this generation. So, Generation 4, Aurora, I walked with you once upon a dream. So, thanks to your mother's hard work, which is Tiana, you have everything you've always wanted in life apart from love. Your father, who is obviously Prince Nazim, was overprotective of you and rarely let you out the house. This story begins when Aurora becomes a young adult, so she must be given the lazy trait. May only have three friends or less. Family can count if you wish, must meet future spouse at night while parents are asleep, elope, you can run away if you want to and have a maximum of two children. Twin girls are preferred if we are playing Anna or Elsa next. So with the last one, we kind of stuck less to this and more to what the movie did. But in this one, I see we mix things up a bit and stick a little bit more to the challenge. So what I think I'm gonna do is obviously Aurora begins her life in the castle. So I'm gonna try and get the castle from Sleeping Beauty. There's a few on the gallery for us to go ahead and check out. Um, and obviously, we're gonna have Prince Nazim be very overprotective of her when she's a child. I can't really work out what his motivation is for this. Maybe he just loves her so much that he's really scared something might happen to her. A little bit like how uh, Kian didn't get to see Tiana grow up. Maybe this is something that Nazim is afraid of as well. And the three friends or less. What I'm thinking is this, especially because she runs away. Now, I know in the movie she doesn't run away. What happens is she gets cursed by a Maleficent as a child. And so her family send her away, away from the castle so that she can never be found by her and therefore the curse of her dying can never come true or at least going into like an eternal slumber which I think is what happens but what I think we should do instead is have her as a little bit more of a rebellious sim so so I was thinking for the three friends or less we could have those as the three fairies from Sleeping Beauty those girls can all be the same age as her and instead they kind of all run away as friends together and run away to the cottage which we could repurpose at Snow White's cottage for this and then she can like live out her life as a little bit of a rebel, at least while she's a teenager. Maybe she goes back to the castle when she gets a little bit older. So if you guys like the idea, let me know in the comments below. She's gonna probably run away because we'll have her meet a future spouse. While her parents are sleeping, her parents forbid him, her for seeing him. So she runs away with her friends. I think that could be a pretty fun way to play this. And I kind of want to stick a little bit more to the challenge rules this time. But first of all, of course, we need a castle. So I have searched on the gallery for Sleeping Beauty. And there is a few pretty amazing builds here. They all look look really, really cool. I like how this one, do you remember in the movies, there's all like the thorns and stuff around her house. I can remember the prince going through them. No, it's Maleficent when she's like a dragon. She makes all those thorns and the prince is like cutting through them all on his horse. I remember that. So like they've done this, which I think is really cool. And then like this one is so pretty as well. Like, look at this at the front. What I've done is I've bulldozed where the Villarreal house is. I'm gonna go ahead and check some of them out and then we'll see which one we like best because I think this is a pretty cool location for it. And obviously I have no need for the Villarreal's in my Disney princess series, do I? Oh my gosh. <gasps> It's so cool. Okay, that's the gate to get in. I probably would spin it. Oh my gosh. That is insane. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, let's have a little check out of everything inside. <gasps> so cool. It's got a little reading. Oh, the little towers are actually like little usable towers. That's so cute. Ah, oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, is this Sleeping Beauty's room? Or do you think this is Sleeping Beauty's room? I actually don't even know. But this is insane. Oh my gosh. And then downstairs. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can really top that. Okay, we've got a girl's room here. That could potentially be Sleeping Beauty's room. Oh my gosh, look at the stairs. I don't even know what this area is, but I kind of low-key love it. Maybe we could have Tiana and Prince Nazim's wedding kind of vibes there. Is there a kitchen? Am I just being blind? Is the kitchen downstairs? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this place. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's got like grounds and everything. Oh. <gasps> Okay, I don't actually know if you can beat that, but there is one more on the gallery So I say we check that one out as well. One more really impressive one. Okay, so that one was by Bella2222452 Let's check out this one by SkySoul8. Oh my gosh. This one's amazing too! What? And this one's like in two buildings. Oh my gosh I don't know which one is more true to the original design. However, I kind of feel like the flowers in this one might be 
bug me a little bit, but we'll check it out. It is amazing. But there's like flowers inside. Are they meant to be inside? I can't tell. It is really, really cool. We've got this side as well. There's like two towers. Okay, obviously both amazing. However, I'm gonna go for the one by Bella, just because that is like one of the craziest builds I've ever seen. I wanna live there. It makes me wanna be a princess. And like, I definitely don't usually have princessy vibes, but I do right now. Okay, so I've placed it on there. We can definitely fit a little bit more stuff around it. I forget just how huge this lot is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like do a little path leading up to it and whatnot. Okay, so I've just added a load of trees around it and a little fountainy place at front. We're gonna make that really high. Will that mess with the house if I make that high? <gasps> Have I just messed everything up? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We ain't messing with this beautiful house, okay? We're just not gonna do that. Okay, I guess the final thing to do, <laughs> you guys are moving out. Is that Max? Max, Zoe, and Lucas. Zoe? Who is Zoe? I don't know who Zoe is. Zoe, she rings a bell. Oh, I'm intrigued. Isn't that like the Zoe that's meant to be like the new girl Zoe? She ended up marrying Max in my game and they have a son called Luca. So there you go. If you were interested, now you know. However, you guys are getting yeeted, so bye-bye. Bye-bye, Max and co. Because, of course, we are moving our little family Rooney here. And I'm gonna bring good old Cinderella along with me just because I feel like she deserves this, okay? She's had a tough life. She needs something good to happen for her. And it's saying I can't afford that, but I think you'll find I can because I'm gonna turn free real estate on. However, watch this bug. Look, it's typing in, in Hangul. And I don't know why it does that because if I type in on my browser, it's in English. So I have to copy and paste it from my browser into here and do it like that, so annoying. And we've got them all moved in. So we'll go check it out. However, I'm just gonna go ahead. I know I need to do this with Snow White and Co as well, but I feel like at this point, Cinderella would be looking a little bit older than she does currently. Cause she is a grandmother now. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm so sorry. Oh, your boobs just absolutely left. Like they left the whole show right there, didn't they? Oh, the poor things. Okay, so now she's an elder. Great. You definitely need to be an elder. If anything, you need to look the oldest of all. I'm so sorry, Snow. It's just the only way. Oh, oh my gosh. There she is. Old Snow White. Oh, wow. I mean, she still looks good, to be fair. She don't look bad. You guys had so many babies. Five kids these guys had. I left them on their own and they had five kids. That's Anastasia and Grumpy. Okay. I figure these guys should all be teens now. So I'm going to go ahead and teen those guys up. I like those guys. Got another kid. And then you should be older as well, little dude. Darian. Oh my gosh. I'm going to make him a teenager as well. Yeah, I'm afraid even uh, Aaron's beautiful jeans. I mean, he's not bad, but you can tell there's definitely uh, there's a lot of Drizella in him isn't there. All right, I'm gonna keep them as unplayed because I like them just kind of doing their own thing in the background. Okay, and let's go ahead and move into our beautiful new castle. Don't forget, if you're enjoying the series, give it a big cheeky thumbs up. I'm excited for Gen 4. I hope you guys are too. And after this, we will be doing Anna and Elsa. Oh my gosh, and it's in the snow. Should we check out the castle? Oh, it's 5 a.m. in the morning as well. Wow. But this is the castle in the snow. Oh. <sighs> It's so magical. Okay, I need to like assign rooms for everybody as well. I'm kind of vibing that Cinderella always had blue stuff. So I'm gonna assign this bed for her. And then this one kind of to me feels like a bit of a king and queen kind of bed. So I'll pop these guys in that one. And then, oh my God. Gosh, wow. I feel like this is gonna be, oh, but she's gonna run away, isn't she, as a teenager? I guess she'll have this room for a while until she runs away. But for now, I might just keep her, you know, cause she's only a little toddler. It might make more sense to keep her in like a little tiny cutesy room. And this one is actually so adorable. So I'm just gonna get her a little toddler bed. Obviously a princess one, obviously, obviously. And we'll do it pink to match the rest of the room. Wow, beautiful, gorgeous. Let's give you a whole veil dealio. Wow. And I'll get you some little toddler toys. Have a pink machine and some blocks and a little high chair. I feel sad for her that she's not gonna be able to make friends for a really long time. There's no like homeschooling mod in this game, is there? Cause I feel like she would be homeschooled too if her dad's like that scared of her ever leaving. Okay, and there we go. So we've arrived at 5 a.m. in the morning, which is kind of nightmarish, but whatever. Let's go ahead and read Aurora to sleep. <gasps> Oh my gosh. What? You seriously have just started the game like that to me. Are you closer, to dying? No, you've got more time left. Literally just got a call. Hi, Cinderella. I'm calling to let you know that Snow White has died. As soon as I aged her up, she died. Oh, our first gen is gone. We only had four gens all alive at the same time for a while. And of course, that's made Cinderella super, super depressed. That is it for Snow. It kind of makes sense. Like, how many people actually get to meet their great grandparent? That's what it would be, wouldn't it? Mum. 
grandma, great grandma. Like I knew my great grandma, but she died when I was fairly young. So I think it makes sense that Aurora knew her. She had her for a little while in her life. I've just realized I don't think we've got the rest of Aurora's outfit. So should I make them real quick? Cause we've got like her main out. Oh, where's your hair gone? She's a slightly scary looking kid. I will admit that. I don't know quite what it is, but there's definitely something a little bit spookula rooney about her. I think it's her eyes, but she needs to have violet eyes as part of the challenge. I mean, I could give her those ones instead. It might be a little bit less spooky. What do you reckon? Those ones, those ones. <laughs> They are a bit scary. Or I've got like these ones as well. So it's like that, that, or that. I kind of think those, were, oh, they are a bit scary though, aren't they? I might go for these ones on her. I just think it's an easier option. <laughs> less spooky, less spooky. There's something a little bit scary about the child. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, for this outfit, obviously she needs a princess dress because she is a princess. She's actually already got one on. Maybe I have dressed her and I've just kind of forgotten about it. I don't know. We also said that she'd become fairer and fairer skinned because she's never for allowed out the house. So we have to do that as well. And then for bed, obviously she needs to wear the Disney princess one. Wait, who's that one? That's Rapunzel. That's Cinderella. Wait, have they got Tiana? Ariel. Is that Jasmine? Wait, that's Jasmine. So who's that? Is that Esmeralda? I can't tell who that one is. Oh wait, we'll have a little selection. Let's have a little selection. My girl needs to stop dyeing her hair, okay? Can you just not do that? It's really annoying. I feel like there's literally no point in me even giving her a party outfit either because she's never gonna be allowed to leave the house. So what party are you gonna be able to go to? Probably none. Okay, so I remembered her dress sense is meant to be a little bit more like black and white hers is I would say. So I've tried to stick for that for her outfits as much as I can. And I've got her like classic black headband on most of her outfits have it. She's definitely a little cutie pie. I know she's intense looking, but she's still cute. Oh my gosh, look, this bit has fire. What heads? I'm sorry, I'm like fangirling over this house so hard because I'm like, that's so cool. I've been calling Naveen Nazim. Isn't Prince Nazim like a boxer? I've been calling him that the whole time, annoying. I'm gonna get everyone to get some sleep and then we'll cook ourselves a Tiana, a Tiana Winterfest meal, which you know will taste absolutely amazing. And yeah, I guess this is the house that Naveen, not Nazim, has been, his parents kind of were like, you can have this once you've settled down and got married. And now that he has, as a frog, but still, he gets the castle. And I bet they're especially excited about their baby child, aren't they? Baby grandson, baby granddaughter. That's what I'm looking for. That's the word I was looking for. And Bruno's come along for the journey as well. However, Bruno has no food. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get a little pet bowl. Bruno's been by our side, I would say now for a really long time. I'm actually low-key quite surprised that that dog is still alive. Alive. Oh my gosh, it's a full-on blizzard. Like, we were like, oh, you can't go outside because your dad's protective. You can't go outside because you wouldn't be able to get even two meters in this weather. That's the real reason, okay? And Snow White is just messages. I heard about the passing of someone special to you. I wanted to offer my condolences. Snow, it was you. <laughs> it was you that died. That is just a very confusing condolence to offer, but okay. And Naveen is working up hungry. He's gonna go and try and eat some cereal. We will not allow that because it's Winterfest and we're gonna cook up a really impressive meal instead, okay? Oh my gosh, there's a pond down. There's a hole in the floor. There's another floor. <gasps> what? There's like a whole like secret underground area. Wow, this is the coolest build I think I've ever seen. Like, look at that. It's like a little man cave and there's like a little, oh my gosh, a koi pond. <gasps> Come and feed the koi and admire this. Like, look at this. Give it a natural cleaner. There's a seam. Oh my gosh. What? What is this based on? I don't even know why all this is here. There's a secret kitchen. And oh my gosh, don't even worry, Cinderella, because your favorite's here. You can do a bit of laundry, so don't get too worried. You're taking yourself a little bath. We'll allow it. What's your bathroom like? Oh my gosh. Wow, this is like, this is like deja vu. vu. You're in a tower getting a bath, but it's not a sad, lonely tower anymore. It's a litty, amazing tower with your amazing new room. Let's face it. Oh my gosh. I've not even like properly viewed this place with like walls up from the inside. Should we have a little investigate? <sighs> It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. It are, like Loki, it is so beautiful. Look at this, even Bruno's in love. There's like two pianos here. Why have one piano when you can have two and you can have a whole piano symphony? Like this place is mental. Actually is just mental. I'm in awe. I am in actual awe. Look at him admiring his koi. Look at a freaking koi. Oh gosh, snail. I think the snails are like, they keep it um nice and clean. They eat all the algae. But oh, a little pet snail and some koi. I can you tell I'm really excited about this house. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Look at this, look at this. It's actually just full on, oh my gosh, full on mental. This plot must be worth so much. 
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh my gosh. Can you swim in these? You can't. These are pools. I wouldn't do it today, but still. Just all my wows contained into this episode. Wow. You can even toss a coin for your witcher. Like, wow. This is ridiculous. Have you just come from outside? To get to the tower, did you have to go outside to get there? I don't know. But everyone's wanting to cook. Don't do it. Put that away. Clean up your stupid ham and cheese sandwich. Instead, why don't you go and do a little bit of potty training with Aurora? Because Tiana is going to be... Tiana, you're outside eating too. What have you just cooked? It's winter fest. No, put these away. Put all this away. We're doing a proper winter fest meal. Oh, you stink though. Okay, go get yourself a bath first. And then we're doing a proper winter fest meal. Does this not have an ensuite? Oh, wow. Rude. There's no ensuite here. I would have expected with a house of this kind of caliber to have an ensuite. I'm not going to lie. In fact, where is all the bathrooms? House is so big. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go and wee. What? There's another entire kids room here. How many kids are you supposed to have in this house? There's even a freaking cradle there. Oh, I found a bathroom, but there's no shower in it. Oh, there's one here. Okay, go have yourself a brisk shower because we're going to get on to our Winterfest meal. And she's in here having a groove. Ooh. Ooh. That's even like princess, like Disney kind of music too. Oh, I'm just having an absolute whale of a time this episode. An absolute whale of a time. This castle is insane. I am so excited. <laughs> so excited right now. Okay, Tiana's had a shower. I need to try and find the kitchen again. Okay, the kitchen's here. This is unlike any kitchen you have ever cooked in before because you're gonna go ahead and cook ourselves a tofurkey dinner for Winterfest. Bruno is hungry. I mean, there's food here, but the dog probably can't even find it. It's like, where am I supposed to be in? Oh, he needs, he wants to go for a, a wee. Cinders, you take him for a wee. This house is too big for just a couple to run. So you kind of need another person to help you, which is why we've brought my mum. So calm down, Naveen. We have to do it, okay? I know no one wants to live with the in-laws, but I'm going to ask you just this once. We need a bit of Cinderella help in this house. It's far too big for just us. And there is little Aurora trying to do her wees. Oh my gosh, she's cute. See, she's a lot cuter now. She's definitely a lot more baby now that we got rid of the creepy eyes, I think. And you just know this is going to be the most delicious toast Furky you ever did see in all of your life. Look at this kitchen. Like, look at it. Even I could cook good meals in a kitchen like this. It has like a boat on the wall and a fireplace. And oh my gosh, is that a spice rack? Oh, I love a spice rack. Oh my gosh. Just, and it's, it's got a bin, a big old bin. It's got a teapot if you want a cup of tea. Oh, it's just got everything. Oh, it's got a dartboard. Is that actually playable? Oh, have I ever played darts in The Sims? I don't even know if I've ever even played darts in The Sims. I am so overexcited and I'm not even mad. I'm excited about how overexcited I am. Oh, why are you sad? Because it's cold. Oh no. Oh, has this house got no thermostat? Okay, let's put a thermostat in there. How are we ever going to be able to afford to run this house? The restaurant will never, ever in a million years give us enough money to be able to look after this house. Let's face it. I'll put that thermostat on the wall. This is the last time I'll ever find it. Like, we'll see it once and then that's it. Let's make the house a bit warmer, please, because our little babbler root is very cold. Are you just walking the dog on the balcony? But your house is so big that you don't even need to leave the castle to walk the dog. I just walked it within the grounds and that was enough for Bruno. He's found out where his food is now. Everyone's just happy and laughing. Look at this grand meal. Beautiful grand meal. What's the condition? It's excellent. Beautiful tofurkey. And oh my gosh, I need to put a Christmas tree. Where would I even put it? I'm scared I'm going to put the Christmas tree in. And then that's it. I'm going to have lost it forever. I need to decorate the house as well. Is there like a main entrance way? The house is so big, but I can't find anywhere to fit the tree. Can I put it here? There's too much. <laughs> There's too much going on. I might just have to put it in the middle of the room here. And then we'll decorate the tree afterwards. I say we have a beautiful grand meal first, okay? I'm scared that they're gonna go and sit in other places, so please come sit here. This is one thing that annoys me so much about Sims. Like, I've told her to go and sit in the other room, so why does she stand here eating her food when there's like a whole dining room in here? Like, it's such a pet peeve. Even getting like Sims to sit together is so awkward that one person has always finished their meal by the time you get like everyone to sit together. I'm like, look, the child's gone off to go sit in here because nobody can put her in the high chair. Just so much annoyance. At least come and sit in here, okay? And look at us all dressed up for our beautiful meal with our whole new life in our gorgeous house. And little Aurora joining us as well. I can't believe how the fortunes of this family have turned around. Like, Aurora will never know true hardship because of how hard her family lambs have worked. And also because, obviously, she's possessed by a demon. So she won't even understand those emotions. Because how can she? I promise you, when she ages up, she's going to be really cute, okay? But she definitely has a little bit of a scariness about her as a toddler. I'm not even going to lie. Is the tree down here? Yay! We can decorate the tree together after this as well. And I feel like since the house is very gold, 
gold. All the decorations should definitely also be very gold. Look at this, decorating our little tree. If it had been still Tiana, I'd have been like, we need to decorate it. I know it's already green because it's a tree, but I'd have been like, well, we need froggy decorations, obviously. However, we're in a different, a whole different series now. So we need to be focusing more along Aurora's needs. And she's just vibing here, enjoying watching them decorate the tree. Being cute. Like she looks a lot cuter there. But she's got an awful lot of teeth for a toddler, I would say, which is not really helping with the whole, she kind of low key looks like a demon anyway vibe, is her? Why are you feeling sad? What is happening? Aurora hiccuped and didn't understand it. So it's made her sad. Oh, that's so cute. She like hiccuped and she's like, well, obviously my soul is escaping my body. So now I'm afraid. However, as a demon, you never had a soul in the first place. So don't even worry, Aurora. However, she is being cute with Bruno right now. She's pretending to be a dog. Cute. How old is Bruno now? Bruno's a girl. Bruno's a girl. And also is an adult. I think I still have Agent turned off, to be fair. Oh, look at this tree. It has popcorn in it. I didn't think they would actually put popcorn in it, but there you go. I guess chef. Berries and popcorn. It's a foodie tree. It's a tree for a foodie. So just cute, cute little wholesome family moments. The tree is looking uh, amazing. We're gonna get to put some presents under it and then Father, <laughs> Father Christmas in this game will come out of a fireplace. However, he's gonna come out of one random fireplace in the many that are in this household and just be like completely lost and confused.com. So I actually low-key feel a little bit sad for Father Christmas in this household. Father Winter, I think he's called actually. Is the tree done? I can't see a topper. Please can we add a topper on there as well? And then we need to put some presents under it. Can toddlers get presents? If toddlers can't get presents, I will actually riot because I want presents under there so badly. Oh my gosh, it's all been a bit of a bunch for grandma. She's gone to bed already. It did take them like 10 hours to light the tree. But no, come on, we're placing presents under. Come on, gangalang. Aurora needs a presents. It is a very cute tree. I feel like it matches the decor. I feel like it definitely does. <gasps> He's here! Father Christmas came! Oh! Oh, where's Aurora? She needs to meet him and get her present from him. <gasps> She's there with him already. Oh my gosh, asking for a present, Aurora. This is your chance. You get free gifts. If oh, he looks a bit sad. Oh, Father Christmas is miserable. He's had a rough day so far. Oh, he's been mean. Has he said no? Has he said no, no present for you? Is he gonna give us a lump of coal? I'm not even sure. But, oh, look at her. How excited is this for her? <gasps> what did you get? <gasps> a junior wizard starter set. Okay, amazing. Tiana, you go in there and ask for a gift as well. Fight for a present. No, jeez. Can't you just ask for them? Why'd you have to fight him? No, that's so mean. And oh my gosh, Father Christmas gave Tiana folded laundry. Are you joking me right now? Okay, and poor Cinderella, she's old, guys. She couldn't stay up for this long. She has not stayed awake long enough to open the presents, but everybody else has. So let's open some presents from under the tree as well. What have you got? This is so cute. She got a creative table set. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, wow. He hated whatever his was. He did a big old thumbs down there. What did we get that he hated? so much. Oh, what? You've got a mo wall mounted TV. That's a lot better than a pile of laundry. I literally Father Christmas throwing the shade there. What did you get? A postcard. Okay, I mean, you're happy about it. I'm not quite sure why. I'd be a bit like, hmm, yay, postcard. Oh, she's well happy. She's doing a little a boppy hop. A boppy hop. A happy bop, which is obviously adorable. Parents are singing. You should be joining in, really, because as a Disney princess, you're meant to be able to sing. Cute little family moments for our first episode, which I think is adorable, obviously, especially because we know that she will rebel and run away at some point in her life. But for now, she's still cute, sweet, easy to manage baby Aurora. So why don't we go ahead and put her to bed for now? Santa, if you can find your way out, you can leave, but good luck to you because this house is so big and mazy. Cinderella is already sleeping away, finally getting the life that she deserves. Little Naveen, who never liked to do any hard work before, but he's doing a bit of tidying in here, which is nice. Little Aurora heading to bed as well. Such a, that's such a happy little cute way to sit, kick off the series, which I love. Can we go ahead and tuck her in, please? Just because you know it's the ultimate cute animation in this game. Adorable little tuck-ins with Aurora. Um, and I feel like we've kicked things off on a pretty good high. I'm really excited about this series. I absolutely love the house that we've got here. Beautiful, amazing house. But the most amazing house of all can feel like a prison if you're never allowed to leave it. And that is actually what is going to be happening to little Aurora. So in the next episode, I will age it up into a child. And I feel like this is when she's definitely going to start really not enjoying the fact that she's never allowed to leave her house. I might try and find a homeschooling mod so that she can't go to school and meet friends 
friends because that is against the challenge rules as well. And then we'll age her up into the teenager the episode after that. And that is when full on teen rebellion can begin. So if you guys are excited for the series, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and download the same house from the gallery because it's amazing. And if you guys are doing the challenge alongside me, why not do it in the same amazing build? And I'll see you guys in another episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.